hey guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm gonna be showing you how i make my super fluffy bakes and i'm gonna be stuffing them with corned beef so for the bakes recipe i'm gonna be starting off with my flour water salt baking powder sugar and my melted butter partially melted butter let's get into the recipe so i'm gonna start by adding in all the dry ingredients which is the salt the baking powder and my sugar now we're gonna mix everything together just to make sure that it's all over and one area isn't sweet and another area is salty and all that so we're just gonna add everything together the dry ingredients and mix them up and next i'm gonna be going in with my butter now make sure your butter is at room temperature you do not want it too cold and you do not want it too hot and then i'm gonna use the squeeze method to make sure my butter gets all into there as you can see how i'm doing with my hand you're looking for that grainy consistency and i'm gonna start going in with my water and we're gonna go in gradually we're still using that squeezing method And we're gonna add a little bit more water you're gonna add your water gradually until your flour starts to form a dough okay so my dough is starting to come together slightly i'm still doing the squeezing and i'm starting to knead as well You're going to make sure you take out whatever flour is on the sides of the bowl as well. And if it's not the consistency that you will like, you're just going to keep going in with a little bit of water. Be very light on the water. Because your dough will come together. Yeah, You can always put water in, but you can take water out. So go in very lightly. Now I've added enough water and I'm just going to continue kneading my dough. Now be sure to pass that dough around the bowl so whatever excess flour, it can get to it. So now I'm just going to lightly dust my surface with some flour because I'm going to be putting the dough onto the surface and kneading it for about five minutes. Now, don't put too much flour down on your surface because it will change the consistency of your dough. Now, the key to a super fluffy bakes is sifting your flour. Don't just pour the flour straight from the bag and then start making your bakes. Pass it through your strainer first. That's going to make it nice and airy and fluffy. Trust me when I say that, sift your flour first. Now my dough is smooth. And what I'm going to do is cover it up with a wet paper towel. And then cover that up with a towel as well, a cloth towel. Placed in the microwave, allow it to rise, 30 minutes. And now we're going to be starting on our corned beef filling. So for this, I have my parsley, onion, garlic, red, green, and yellow bell peppers that I chopped. And I also have green onion or scallion. Here I have my corned beef, black pepper. I'll also be using some ketchup. So I'm going to start going in with my veg. Thank you. 
So I allowed my veg to saute for two minutes and now I'm going in with my corned beef. Now when I do my corned beef, I don't like to mash it too small at first. I rather have it in not too much of chunks, I would say. Yes, but this size, that's what I'm talking about. Next, I'm going in with my black pepper. And now I'm going to be going in with my tomato ketchup. And I'm also going to add a little bit of water. So I'm just going to mix it all together. And then I'm going to cover the pot for five minutes. And this is five minutes later and it's all done. And I'm just going to cover it back, place it to a side until I'm ready. And now we're going to move on to my favorite part, making my bakes. So I'm going to be removing the dough from the bowl where it was rising. And I'm going to be cutting it in quarters. You guys can see the air pockets in there yes beautiful that's where all that fluff is gonna come from so i cut it in quarters and then each quarter i'm gonna divide in three now you can cut them out if you would like i rather just use my hand for this part and what i'm going to do is to try to form a ball with the dough. You want the outer area to be as smooth as possible, as you can see here. And then you place it to a side. I'm gonna be doing it with two more pieces of dough, just to show you how I pinch the bottom and make sure the top is flat and smooth. So you're going to be cupping your palm and moving that dough around and then make sure that it's well sealed. And now I'm going to be lightly flowering my surface. And I'm going to take one of my dough balls and using my rolling pin, which I lightly dusted as well, I'm just going to be rolling out my dough. Now you can do this by hand if you would like to. I just find that it looks a lot more neat when I use my rolling pin. And I'm going to dust out any excess flour and place it back under that damp napkin. And now we're going to start frying our bakes. So I'm going to be placing it into my hot oil. And this is something that my grandmother would do. She would just take some of the hot oil in a spoon whilst it's frying and just pour it onto the top. And that helps the top of your bakes to rise. Also, when I'm frying my bakes, I like to build the color gradually, that beautiful brown crust. So what I do is that I flip it early in 
once I pour some of that oil on the, the top of the bakes and it starts rising, I start flipping it. So that way it builds the color a lot better, as you can see. Right, so you can see it right now how the color is gradually built and it's not just brown from the offset. That way I make sure that it is cooked inside and not just brown on the outside. I'm gonna show you the process again. So I'm rolling it with a rolling pin. Then I'm gonna place it into my hot oil. And then I'm gonna be pouring that hot oil on the top of my dough just to make sure it rises and we're looking for it to rise evenly then we're gonna start flipping them over to gradually build a color And we're going to continue flipping it until it's cooked through and it has a beautiful brown crust that we're looking for. Doesn't this look beautiful? Jeez. So my bakes are all done. You guys see that beautiful bowl of bakes in the background? So I'm going to be cutting into it using my knife. And then I'm going to be filling it in with my corned beef. Now, bakes can be filled with pretty much anything. We do bakes and cheese, bakes and corned beef, bakes and tuna, bakes and smoked herring, bakes and salt fish. You can have it as a sandwich and put bacon in there or ham. It's totally up to you. Bakes is pretty much like the alternative to bread for us. <music> 